In this tutorial, I will show you how to make this simple reusable component. The special thing about it is a scroll box to control the length of the beam. I demonstrate this using an example of this steel beam. So work will focus on the following priorities. So to keep it simple, we only use one profile. The length variants are intended to be limited using a scroll box. We have to define a minimum and maximum value. We define an incrementation parameter. And finally, we define a start value. First of all, we have to create a new folder to integrate this folder in our reuse library later on. So therefore, I browse to a desired safe location and I create a new folder called Beam, for example. And then I go back to NX. So to add this folder to the reuse library, we go to the resource bar to the reuse library tab with the right mouse button here we can browse to the library management then we use the first icon it is called add library and we browse to our folder and confirm with ok and again we confirm this dialog with ok now you see the result the folder is now listed in the reuse library. And now we can go on to create a new empty part. Here make sure that the folder is the folder which we created and which is inside the reuse library. And then we can rename the part. And OK. So now I start with the profile. So therefore, I again in the reuse library and especially in the 2D section library, because here we have a lot of useful shapes and we have a similar one to our steel beam, it's called eye shape. So this is what I use. I drag it in the graphical window and I drop it onto a desired datum plane. And you see the sketch, the profile, and confirm with OK. So now we can modify the dimensions, but before we do this, I fix it on the coordinate system using sketch constraints, and then the sketch is fully constrained. So then I change the width with 160. The height, it is the same value, 160. I have the thickness of the flange, it is 13. And finally, the thickness of the bar with 8. And that's it. And now I can finish the sketch. And we can create the solid using the function extrude. So, but before we do this, we have to, um, to define an expression because this expression is later on used in the reusable dialog box. We go to tools and expressions and we need an expression called length. And with this expression, we can control the length later on. So now I use extrude with the boundary curve. I have to select the profile and we have to type in the distance and the distance should be the expression value. It should be the length one. So if it is not inherited like here, 
it is the default situation. Here you can type in length and you see the result and you can select the length out of this list. And finally, we have to create um, the edge blends. Here I use the rib top face edge. I can select this face and the face on the other side and confirm with OK. So for the preview, we look again to our folder called the beam. So there's nothing inside because we have to save it first. And when I save it, you see what happened for the preview. It is directly inherited. If it is located here and I save it and you see that the preview changed. So this is not the best way. Um, therefore, I use a model view, a geometric for example, and then I go and look to the properties of the part because we have a preview tab inside and the best thing here is not the creation time should be not on save it should be on demand now i can create the preview it's okay so we look again to the folder you see the preview and now if I make some modifications on the part and the part is located, um, for example, here, and when I save it, you see only the on-demand preview is inside. So this is the best solution for the preview as in the member select section here. To have an access to the length um, expression and to create the scroll bar, we need an external file, we need a spreadsheet. So I have a prepared one, i show you. And the structure looks like this. So we have a bitmap, that means here we can type in um, the name of a legend image with the extension. And in between parameters and end, we have to type in the expression name. So in our case, it is the length one. And in the following row, we have to type in the values. So, and this is the special one because we would like to have this scroll bar. So I start with the minimum value and then I type in the special character called tilde. And this is the secret to get such scroll bars. Then I would like to have a start value. Then I type in a tilt again for the maximum. And finally, we would like to have a parameter for the increment. That means I type in a plus and the value of this parameter, it is 500 for example. So, and that's it. So that's the secret for the scroll bar with the minimum, maximum value for the incrementation and for the start value. And now we can save this file. So this file, we have to um, copy it and to paste it into the beam folder. And we have to rename it because the spreadsheet must have the same name as the part. So therefore I use, I copy the name of the part and I paste it to the spreadsheet name. And we go back to NX. So, but that's not enough. To create a knowledge enabled parts, we have to create a KRX file. And this file defines the relationship between the component and non-geometry files such as external spreadsheets. How to create this file? With the right mouse button on the preview, we have the auxiliary file, it is the spreadsheet, and we can create directly the KRX file. And this is quite simple in our case because we only have to browse to the spreadsheet and we have to select the spreadsheet here, confirm with OK. 
and that's it. We don't need a primary parameters. We have no auto match uh, auto matching here, and the only thing is to um, the legend image. This is what we can do here. I have also a prepared one. I use this legend for example, and I confirm with OK. So now let us check if everything is OK. So therefore we change I change to the to an empty part and I drag and drop our steel beam in the graphics window and you see what happened here is the result we have uh, the legend and we have the length expression and we have our scroll bar and when I select here inside the scroll bar you see what happened we have an incrementation of 500 and the default value here is 1200 so and this is what we have defined in the spreadsheet and this is what you can use um, in your reusable components or in your reusable objects to have such scroll bar inside of the reusable dialog box